Guys, we are officially back with another monthly reset. So as always, grab a drink, grab your notebook, we can do this together. Um, but we're gonna dive into all things monthly reset. So one thing that I've had to keep on top of anyway is keeping this house tidy because I will give you guys some updates soon. Um, but usually in a monthly reset, I will really go through decluttering and making sure my space is good throwing out any products or getting rid of anything that has expired or that's been in the fridge too long and just really have that declutter. I like to start a new month with a complete fresh mind. So if you haven't already, pause this video and set some time aside over the next couple of days just to declutter. Clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen properly, make sure you do a thorough kind of spring clean but are we gonna call it a winter clean because it's now November? And just really start with the freshest mind that you can. Also reflections are so important. Now, I always start these with my reflections first. Some updates of what's going on and also whether I've hit my goals from the month before. And then we'll go into November's goal setting. So, it's currently the 1st of November. I've never actually filmed one this late on in the month. I usually film them a few days before. So actually everything is pretty accurate in this because all of my social media trackers are now up to today. And also I wanna wish you guys a happy 111. It's the 1st of the 11th, so yeah. It's a very nice number today. I love me an angel number. So it's 111 today. And I would really encourage you guys just to pause and assess because I did a real push in October and September to really make sure that we end the last quarter the way we wanted to, making sure we really end 2023 the way we want. And we're now in November. So I wanna ask you guys, if you have been having this mentality of, I wanna make sure that I end the year right, I wanna make sure that I start 2024 in the best possible way, please stop the excuses, leave them at the door, and let's really, really focus up for November and for December to make sure that we can get ahead of 2024. Now, some of you guys might not have taken the chance to really reflect on your January vision boards and maybe assessing where you are against that, but I'd really recommend, again, if you haven't yet done that, pausing this video and really looking back on what you set out to achieve in January and for the rest of this year and just see where you've made progress and where you haven't because it's so important to constantly check ourselves against the promises that we made to ourselves because I am sick and tired of myself doing this and other people setting goals and then not committing to their word and if we can't be loyal to our own words to ourselves we need to fix it. We need to fix it and start really owning the words that we say, the commitments that we make, and the goals that we set. So with that being said, let's get into November's reset. Now, we always start with my social media tracker because I love to track. I love to track my numbers because it really allows me to look at where I've grown, where I haven't, and what the reasons might be. Now, numbers mean nothing if you don't use them. So if you are wanting to track your social media numbers, your financial tracking, whatever it is, make sure that you get in a really consistent habit with doing this, but also really pick out every single month the key things that you did to either drive that or cause the dip or the downfall because I've definitely now, from February to November, I have consistently tracked my social media numbers. And what this has allowed me to do is replicate the things that I did on the months that I grew the most or slightly tweak them if needs be and use that as a formula for growth now on socials. Same with finances. If you know that you dip in certain times of the year, etc. It's going to really help you spot trends, opportunities to spot the problem or spot the opportunities to help you do it better. So in September, we ended the month on 16,325 followers on Instagram. We are now ending October on 16,405. So about 70 followers. The Breakthrough Society ended September on 4,779. And we're now ending October on 4,997. So that's been a really nice growth to see. TikTok, we ended September on 7,219. And we're ending October on 7,765. So we've seen a very big growth there, which I'm happy with. And then YouTube, we ended September on 4,045 subscribers. And we're ending October on 4,244 subscribers. So we're definitely seeing some growth. It's it's been very very consistent over this year and I really want to now spot opportunities to really help like big 
movements on each platform so with that being said if you haven't subscribed to this channel if you haven't connected with me on instagram on tiktok please make sure to do so because when i tell you i'm committed to content hopefully you guys have seen it over the last month anyway i am really committed to serving you guys and bringing you guys the best content so i would love it if you would stick around and help a girl out let's make these numbers even better for november but overall i'm really really grateful because every platform has grown and there's definitely been some reasons behind that i have been a lot more consistent posting on every platform but i've also hosted a giveaway as well so again I'm making you pause this video a lot but if you haven't already entered my giveaway you can win an apple macbook some starbucks goodies and a breakthrough planner by simply following me subscribing and entering the giveaway on instagram so definitely make sure to do that it ends at the end of november and you could win an apple macbook one thing i do just want to say about the giveaway as well is if you do want to swap your starbucks goodies for another brand or an independent shop that is absolutely fine in the recent light of starbucks being boycotted I then made the decision to edit the giveaway and alter it for the winner if you wish I don't want this giveaway to come across distasteful I was really really ignorant until two days ago where I educated myself and made the decision to not take the giveaway down because I thought it was unfair to those who entered but just altering the prize to hopefully make it appeal to more people and just know that you don't have to technically support a brand if you're not comfortable with it so make sure to enter that giveaway yeah it's just my way of giving back because we've had three years of the breakthrough society my business and i wanted to share and give back to someone so yeah make sure to enter that you can enter it worldwide i will just amend the giveaway like currency and things and obviously ship it out so let's get into october reflections now it wouldn't be me without a life update in my reflections and to anyone that has watched my reflections month on month you probably think oh what is going on jess i'm sure this happened in june or maybe even may and it did but it's happened again i am now single and let me tell you guys this is not me saying i'm single and then in three months time i'm saying i'm single again i am committed to this decision now to really work on myself and it's very very difficult without going into detail on the situation because i still have so much love for this person like and i know it's a mutual thing um we've just definitely been in a situation that maybe served it's course if that's the right way to say it without any progression um so yeah i am now single i'm really on a journey now to do everything i ever said i wanted to do and i'm really putting that energy back into me i always think when anyone goes through a breakup or becomes single everyone wants to know the tea everyone thinks that there's some scandal he's cheated he's done something bad or maybe i have and sometimes you just outgrow a situation if it doesn't progress with your growth and that's completely okay you don't have to hate the person there doesn't have to be hard feelings but i just got to a stage where unless the situation progressed with where i wanted to go it was probably going to hold us both back and yeah i am now working on myself so that's been a big update that happened and obviously with that i have gone through a few things just in the month as well it was also the breakthrough's third birthday as well so we celebrated turning three and with that we did launch the giveaway to win a macbook so please make sure to enter it but i also did a birthday sale as well which went really well i had some members join on an annual plan which i love because the membership is where it's at i always link it in the description so feel free to check it out but if you're an ambitious female make sure you are in the breakthrough membership don't regret it because the focus for november is i'll come on to it later i also did declutter so that was one of the goals for october which was to declutter my space and maybe sell some things maybe donate some things and i did just that i had a very successful month on vinted which we love one of the goals was also to pay off another 1500 off a credit card your girl did that she closed one and basically closed another so i'm so proud of myself for that because for those who don't know i essentially got a couple of credit cards out when i did my big trip in america because your girl was spending i was living like with money that i didn't i don't even know how to describe the mentality that i had in america but it was almost like 
I just didn't care and it was the most irresponsible decision I've ever made in my life and I'm paying for it now. Another goal was to really focus on content creation which I did and it's definitely shown in the results that we've had. I really feel like TikTok and YouTube are the platforms I'm loving the most and I feel like I'm giving the most value on them platforms at the moment so I'm loving that. I'm also selling my house guys. I love a little update but I'm also selling my house. I've actually got a second viewing for someone today who fingers crossed might put an offer in but I really am starting a new chapter now. I feel like I'm really entering the chapter I've always wanted to do and this is your sign guys. If you've had something on your vision board that maybe it doesn't quite make sense, like mine is moving to a city centre apartment and renting. Bearing in mind I'm currently a homeowner and I have been for nearly five years is something on my goal board and I've consistently not done it because I've been worried about other people's opinions. It maybe isn't the safest thing or the most secure thing to do in a lot of people's eyes to take yourself off the property ladder. But that's what I want to do. So I'm doing it. I'm finally making decisions for me and making sure that the only person's approval I have is mine. So I'm selling my house. Financial maturity was also something that I really wanted to focus on in October and I did. Trust me, I did. I was in shops and not spending when I easily could have. I wasn't spending when I was sad in my breakup. I was making sure I was prioritising bills and paying things off before investing in new things and I'm definitely on a journey with it. I'm really enjoying becoming more financially mature and just being more mature as a woman I guess as well in the decisions that I make although I'm saying that whilst I'm about to sell my house but trust me I have a plan I do <laughs> um, and then another one was growing the membership which I did I didn't hit my goal of 30 members but I probably would have if we didn't have like cancellations which is completely understandable in the cost of living crisis sometimes memberships are the first thing that people cut so I fully understand that but the girls that we've got in there absolutely smashed it we did um, own it October as a challenge in the membership and I did a giveaway last night a really big giveaway for all the girls that worked really hard so we've had a really good month together in the membership. Also another goal of mine was to eat properly. I've definitely done that although today is my first day of downfall so I'm kind of gutted that I'm not ending it on the high that I should but I've been buying proper meals, I've been cooking, I've been making sure there's veg on my plate and I've definitely been fueling my body better than I ever have done and I really want to continue that next month. I've also started running as well. I've really love it and I never thought I'd say that. I'm not a runner by any means and I currently am battling shin splints so I've not been on a run for a few days because it's just hurting because I've definitely gone a little bit too hard too fast but I'm loving it and it's taken me a long time to find fitness that I've enjoyed again. I feel like I push myself to be this gym girl that I don't want to be for so long and I'm just not loving weightlifting. I'm not loving it at the moment. I'm loving running. It gives me real mental like headspace and clarity and you can just put your shoes on and get out the door which I love. I actually had such a movie moment where it was pouring down with rain. I pushed myself to go out for a run and I literally had the best time. I was running in the rain with my music and it was just such a moment. So yeah, I'm really hoping to continue that into November, but overall, October was definitely, I don't know how to describe it. It was definitely a transformational month in so many areas. I feel like I just took control. And I said that in the last reset that I just really wanna take control of my life and just stop waiting and stop wishing and stop hoping and stop waiting on other people. We've got one life guys. Sometimes you've got to take the reins into your own hands and just do the things you want to do. And that's definitely what we've done in October. So I'm really, really grateful for the month. And then we have November goals. So I've actually limited my goals for this month because sometimes I find when I have a really extensive list, it can get quite overwhelming. And I also have two trips this month as well. I'm actually going to Paris with Hazel next week. If you don't follow Hazel Wood, you probably do, but if you don't, get to know. Um, we actually met through YouTube and Instagram and we're going to Paris next week, which I'm so excited about. And then I also have a log cabin break with some girls in my travel business as well so I'm really really excited for those breaks but obviously I'm just taking into account those breaks as well. So number one is sell my house. I'm really, really manifesting with today being 111 that an offer is going to get put in on my house today. 
I also have two viewings tomorrow as well. So fingers crossed we will sell my house this week. 30 members. I'm still going with this. I will roll this goal until we hit it, but I really want to see 30 members in my breakthrough membership because I have completely pivoted the breakthrough this month as well. I forgot to tell you guys that but I want it to be more of a community vibe than a high level experience. I just want a community of amazing women and ambitious females and entrepreneurs who just love, learn, grow together. We jump on calls in our dressing gowns and we discuss what's going on. And I just really am focused on creating the best community. So 30 members is the goal. Another goal is that over a thousand of you enter the giveaway. I would love for this to help exposure as well with it being a giveaway and obviously giving away a MacBook. I do hope to see some growth off the back of it as well. So I'm really hoping that a thousand of you enter. Obviously I've got my Paris trip and the log cabin so content is going to be quite heavy on those trips but I'm also really excited just to connect with my girlfriends and yeah, just do some higher level self activities because I forgot to mention in my October reflections that Grace actually came to stay with me last week and we just did so many high level self activities. We took ourselves to the most beautiful hotel for lunch and I just felt like we were really living our elevated lives. Like I felt like we were our elevated self and I think putting yourself in those environments really forces you just to level up mentally. So yeah. I forgot to mention that, but I've really been enjoying having time with my girlfriends as well. I want to start gua sha -ing. Now, I have been considering Botox. I do not recommend it. I do not endorse it, but I have been considering it for two lines that I get here. And then I found this girl, it was like it was all meant to happen, who basically shows her results from gua sha and lymphatic drainage, etc. on her face. The results she has from non-cosmetic procedures, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna try Gua Sha in this month and really put in some focus in wellness, reinvesting in some skincare products as well. I did say that in my self-care video that I wanted to reinvest in better quality, which I'm definitely doing and I love it. I also wanna get running again. I really wanna try and get some better distance, get some better time. I'm just really getting a routine with being able to go out and run. And I've not done a numerical goal for a while, but I would love to hit 10,000 on TikTok in November and 4,300 on YouTube. So again, if you haven't already connected with me on those platforms, please make sure to do so because it would mean a lot to me. But November's focus for me is now or never November. And this is the focus we have in the membership for this month. I'll pop some information on screen, but we're really diving into our best selves, diving into sales and how to maximize sales in the festive period. We are getting over feeling icky about selling. We have an amazing call with a financial expert as well in the membership just really helping the girls understand tax a little bit better, understand cash flow, the numbers in business. And for me, it really is the attitude of now or never. I've just created a workbook for everyone to set out their intentions and really assess all areas of life to just assess where we maybe need to press that acceleration in November. Because I do find a lot of people set goals and then you're trying to press like the acceleration and the brake at the same time. And if you drive and you drive a car, you guys know pressing the acceleration and the brake at the same time is a recipe for a disaster. So I really want everyone to just take a moment, assess where you have made progress, maybe where you haven't, in business, in life, in career, in finances, in love, in wealth, health, wellness, spirituality, religion, and really assess each area of life. See where you really wanna make the most progress in the month of November and just choose to press acceleration. No acceleration and braking, just choose to stick to something for a month and really, really focus on it and see where you can get to because the year is not over. Just because we are in month 11 does not mean the year is over. You still have nine weeks, okay, of growth, of progress, of healing, of transformation, whatever it is that you are focused on. You still have nine weeks before the year is out and this will give you the perfect head start on 2024 as well and I'm committed to serving you guys content to help you really level up and if you haven't watched my recent videos please make sure to check them out because I'm really in my value era. I really want to just focus on giving you guys value, helping you guys just become the best versions of yourself and 
yeah, I'm going to commit to that in November as well. But please make sure to come and check us out on all platforms. If not, I'm still sending you guys the most love and hopefully through the free content that I share as well on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram, I can support you guys as well. And we are in this together, okay? Nine weeks left of this year. Really think about where you want to focus, where you want to improve, where you want to see results and stick to it. Okay, because there's nothing worse than making promises to yourself that you don't keep. It just creates a complete loop of not respecting yourself, not respecting your word, and it gives our goals no substance if we keep writing them down and then not hitting them. So please make sure to stay committed in the month of November. It's the best time of the year, in my opinion, now. We're seeing Christmas markets, Christmas activities, and I am just so excited for the next couple of months. So make sure to catch up with friends, make sure to plan in activities that make you feel good and make you happy and make you smile. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know what your goals were, what your goal... And let me know your reflections and your goals for the month ahead as well because I would love to connect with you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.